right guys um what we're talking about today basically i'm just talking about the split screen and i managed to get an application that runs on my phone perfectly so that i can actually control the volume of my the volume of my um the volume of my um samsung while i play videos now i know a lot of people say this is a new because obviously you can already do this with the physical keys but what if you don't want to press the physical keys you just want control you see i'm using the stylus this is the fold edition i uh, hope that comes out um i am i am buying i'm buying the samsung galaxy z fold 5 so that's gonna come i i'm hoping i'm hoping next week i'll get it i'm paying one thousand one hundred dollars for it I mean, it's expensive. It's a, it's a, it's a brand new phone. You can't expect them to sell it for cheap. The one I'm buying is coming in the box. It's it's like brand new, but it's not the 512 gigabytes. It's the 256 gig. This is also the 256 gig. The only difference with this and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 uh, is that this has got a yellow back. This is also the Z Fold 4, and that's the Z Fold 5, and that's got the the purple. The what you call that back? Um, I don't know if it's blue or something. Uh, it's got a blue back. So I'll just show you. So that's the that's my Z Fold. And as you can see, it's got two screens on it. So that you can tell that's the Z Fold 4. Uh, I don't know if they're just color differences with the Z Fold 3. They did say they're very similar. You know, I'm, I'm not disputing if they're similar or not. I'm just saying basically that um, I find it quite interesting that you can actually have a software that can control the, the the you know the volume of your Samsung because trust me I looked all over the, the web uh, I mean on Google Play and I couldn't find anything that supports this function I know I know you're probably thinking you didn't look hard enough I looked everywhere on this thing right my other toys there's my uh, OLED my OLED's right there just showing you guys, I've got a lot of things that I can play games on. It works. It's got the SanDisk 128 gigabytes SD card in there. The, um, oh, wait. That's that's YouTube. Right. So the games I like playing in here is obviously Warface, Vega, Fortnite. I've got yet another Zombie Defense HD, Urban Flow, Twitch, uh, This War is Mine, The Hong Kong Massacre. So I just need to run Steam in the background. So it doesn't, you know, my. So it doesn't sh shut stuff down. Right. So I'm just gonna do that for a second. That's just so the computer doesn't shut down. Because if I don't have it doing something in the background, it's going to um, shut um, shut the PC. I mean, you know, everything just goes off and stuff. So at least I didn't realize this is out. This is the Diablo. Did you guys know Diablo's on a uh, thing? This looks pretty new. Oh, it says it's, it's planned release is 17 October 2023. Right, anyway, I'll do that after this. Let me let me just show you this stuff. So, I'll continue. The Hong Kong Massacre, Splatter, Rogue Company, um, Overwatch 2. Uh, other games are Dead Cells, Cursed, Asphalt, Nine Legends, Hot Shot Racing, uh, Super Animal Royale, Fall Guys, and Dave the Diver. That's just a demo. But my main games are going to be... Uh, well, my favorite game is Fortnite, or can I say Vega? Vega used to be my favorite game, then it was Warface, and then it's Fortnite. But those are the three main games I play on this. I, I These are my main games. Fortnite, Vega, Warface. So that's what I play on the Switch. Right, so I'm just, I'm just showing you guys that I've got other platforms that i can play games on so it's not it's not just gonna be uh the steam deck all the time that's the only thing i've got no it's not um i do have other things that i can play games on i just choose the steam deck that's basically all but i'm just showing you guys that i do have other things that i can play games on you see what i mean right uh so basically what i'm saying is the fact that i can actually control this and I can actually control the volume and everything in the video. You see? So the video is playing there. I can actually select the video that I want to use. The video that I want to actually play. I wonder what we're playing. 
Right, sorry, I'm just trying to get a, the perfect angle. Right, so I'm going to put my Nintendo over here. What? They have already got a helicopter. What is this thing? What? I put my Nintendo right there. It just makes it better, I think. That's my mouse. That's the physical mouse that I use. The mouse that I use is the... I'll show you just now in a second. Sorry, let me just put this down. Uh, the mouse that I use is the Logitech uh, G502 Hero. So that's the Logitech. That's the one I use uh, on my um, on my Steam Deck. I just put my Switch in the background. I mean, I want it to be in a good place, isn't it? I paid a lot of money for that thing. Right. Uh, they said the Switch 2 is actually coming out next year. I don't know when. I'll probably do a review about that Diablo thing, but I'll do it after. I want to talk about the Samsung right now. And then, obviously, I'll talk about those things afterwards. I'm going to do a bit of Fortnite on this uh, system. And actually show you guys that I'm going to use this DualSense controller without, um, without check. Look, look at the light. It's going to come on. Hmm, there you go. It's connected to the Samsung. You see? The blue lights and the blue light there. It's connected. And how do you guys know that? Well... Let me try and get to settings if I can. I need connections. And in here, you see it says blue, uh, three, uh, Bluetooth. It says three devices. Right. It says three devices. So if I click on that, look, look what it says. You see? There you go. You see what it's saying? It says dual sense wireless controller connected. Uh, Pixel Watch and then PT-390 connected. So those are the Bluetooth things. Obviously, Reno Gay, all this stuff, my prods, whatever, whatever. Mainly, just look at the dual sense wireless controller. It is connected. That's the most important thing. Right. Uh, so I just, I do that down here. I, I grab the app that I want. Come on. No, I want this app. Oh, check this out. It put two apps together. Isn't that cool? I got two apps running here together. <laughs> you can still see the, the dual sense. You see, if I do that, you can see the dual sense. Wireless con control is connected, and I've got my media controls. I just don't know. I don't understand. How, how can you, you see? keep playing a game? Isn't that cool? I'm running three apps at the same time on the phone. So I know what you're gonna say. Why why are you getting the Z Fold Five if you got the Z Fold Four? Um, my main reason why I'm getting the Z Fold Five is because this phone does not fold completely. It doesn't open. Uh, it doesn't f fold flat. You see, it's it's a it's at an angle. You see. It's got that bend. It doesn't fold completely. I know you're saying, why don't you just take it get fixed? The problem is, a lot of the shops that I know that do fix phones, 100% of the time, if they think they can make a, 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 a huge profit by not fixing your phone and, and just messing it up, you know, and saying to you, oh, it's, it's, no, it's never going to work. It's better if you sell it. And then maybe your phone at the time before you gave it to them was worth at least at least 300 pounds. You could have sold this on, on, on eBay, right? But now suddenly, because you've given it to these people, these crooks, because a lot of them, that's why I'm saying, if they think, if they believe they can make money from you or off what you've got, they will mess your phone up. Not that it's messed up. They just remove a, a transistor in your phone and then they sell it, isn't it? Because they want profit. Wait, what happened to my controller? Disconnected. All right. So I think it's, it's because I'm not using it. If you don't use it, that's when it disconnects. You see it's back. You see it's back. It's connected again. What I'm saying basically is I do not want to give people that are not professionally from Samsung to fix a phone that they probably would just decide not to fix. You see, it's connected to sense. So I don't want to give it to them and then they mess up my phone and then I'm left in the, in the dark thinking what's, what, what happened, you know? So what I'm saying is, you know what I think? I think this uh, thing is flat, the, the, the thingy, the charger. It's just gone off. I think it's battery's flat. 
So I'm going to do magic and borrow my other Steam Decks cable and do the chargey chargey. I know what you're thinking. Where's the other one? Here the other one is. There you go. In all its glory. That's my Steam Deck Steam. Or should I say Steam Linux. I mean, whatever you want to call it. A Steam operating, Steam operating system is on this one. Obviously, you can see the wallpapers. That's not Windows, is it? No. Nope. And if you want to check, there you go. Now you know it's not a Windows device. I need to lower the brightness. Ah, come on. I'm lowering the brightness because it's just going to save on uh, battery. And lowering this as well. I know you're thinking, can can this uh, play Counter-Strike? Yeah, I can play Counter-Strike on this, no problem. Right, can I go down to this performance layer? I don't use none of that. Uh, frame rate limits is 40. Um, I allow tearing, half rate shading. Uh, scaling mode is fill. Scaling filter is NIS, but I can use FSR if I need to. But I'm, I just wanted to try that. In a, I don't know what that NIS thing is. It's got linear nearest F, FSR and then um, NIS. I don't know what that is. So I just wanted to try that out. I just did that for the brightness because I want to, obviously, the battery on this is going to not last long. Wait. It also tells you how long you've got left. I've got three hours and 43 minutes left. I'm just showing you that this is a Steam Deck. Steam operating system. That's Windows in the background. Which one do I prefer? To be honest, I, I like both of them. I, I won't say, I won't pick which one I'll say is better. I like both. I think both of them are good. So I'm not going to sit here and, and pretend like, you know, the one's better than the other. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, the video is not about that. It's about this phone. Right. So I'm going to be doing some Fortnite gaming today. Uh, you see? Check this out. This is what I like the most. You know what I think? I think I'm uploading videos in the background, so it's doing this. Anyway, it, these are videos. I'm just showing you that this is how I was controlling my sound uh, on this because I was having a trouble, like, how do I control it? Because sometimes I don't want to go into these things, you know? I just... Uh, let me remove this. I don't need that or that. I want Fortnite. Right, so I'm going to do a bit of Fortnite gaming. Um, the reason why I'm buying the Galaxy Z Fold 5, because... This doesn't fold out completely. Like I said, I don't want to give this to people. I've been in shops where they just look at me all weird and they, you know, like they, they're not really interested in fixing my, my uh, Z Fold 4. It's just like I'm going to take it there. They're going to wreck my phone, you know. I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying they might, you know. Right. So let me just set up my Steam Deck. I'm using Ultimate Performance in the background. I know I said that I'm, I'm going to be doing mainly uh, gaming on this on the Z Fold, but I still need to set up my um, my stuff. Right, so I'm gonna put that down for a second. Ah, I need to keep this one open. Right, so this one is playing in the background. I'm just keeping my Steam Deck alive, because if I don't do this, that's going to shut it down. I'm just playing a video in the background. Obviously, you guys can't see the video. I'm just saying, just talking. Right, so I'm going to do Fortnite gaming. I just decided to leave the screen blank because if, if you're seeing stuff in the background, it's going to disturb the video. Right, so I'm going to do Fortnite gaming on this Galaxy uh, Z Fold 4. Like I said, when I get the Galaxy Z Fold 5, hopefully next week, uh, I will do a video review of that one. The reason, the other reason why I like it so much, the Z Fold 5, it falls out flat. Uh, one, two, it's also, um, it's also a thing, what you call this? You know what's interesting? Check this out. Where's, where's that other app? I don't know. Let me go in here. 
let me find that app that i was using before where is it there's a lot of apps in here ah uh, there we go got it you know i'm wondering can i play this game like this that would be so weird right you know this would have been nicer if this could just go like that like this you know i would have had more screen real estate but i'm in i'm just curious to see if this um this volume thing can work with this of course i can use the whole screen that's not an issue i'm just saying i i'm just curious to see if it works together you know because that would be quite you see what i'm saying is you know i i, I believe like this can be smaller I don't know if it's just been restricted because of the screen not being able to fall flat. I don't know. But this is how I bought this. I actually paid $560 for the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which at the time I thought was cheap because these were being sold on eBay for about $700, $800. I got mine for $560. So as a direct result of that, that's why I'm just saying that I, I kind of like wanted another Z Fold that just falls flat. Because on the bus, it's kind of embarrassing when you take out your phone and then people are expecting you it to be flat and then it doesn't fall flat. I mean, it does work a lot of the time in my favor because the way it's bent, it's easier to watch um, to watch certain things or to do uh, multitasking. But imagine if this was flat. This would just look a whole lot nicer, you know? You, you understand what I mean? Right, so basically, uh, I'm just wanting to connect the controller. Let's see if it's going to connect right there you go the only reason why it's got the the type c is because this keeps going off i think it's because of battery right let me get into a match what it won't let me uh pity i think this has to be closed let's see ah there you go you see so it wouldn't work with that um thing on the side but you see it is it is actually looking for a match let me just put that away uh so basically uh the, the galaxy z fold how i found it i was just looking online i wanted to buy the fold 5 for quite some time i couldn't actually buy the one i wanted right so i had to look online to get this one and i i just happened to find it in a shop and like i said it's it's utterly brand new it's in the box and everything and you know i i just i just like it i just thought yeah this is something that i can use something i can actually you know to uh, i can you know I mean when i when i get it i'll i'll make a video about it it's it's exactly like this one most people are saying it's the same phone but i have to tell you something it's not the same phone because i've looked at a review on tiktok and there's a guy who was showing both the z fold 4 and the 5 together this phone is actually bigger than the fold 5 in terms of thickness one and the size of this is much bigger the Z Fold 5 is actually slimmer than this one and smaller in size. It's just that the screen makes it look bigger, you know, because it's affordable. You understand? So the outer screen looks exactly like this one, but the inner screen, and you know, they've added, they put the camera back in. So you can actually see where the, the, the notch of the camera is. You won't see it on the screen, but you can actually tell where this camera is. Whereas with this one, you can't actually see where the camera is. It's quite difficult. Even if you went playing a game on this one you wouldn't be able to tell like where is the camera so that's why i'm saying with this one it's uh i'm not i'm not trying to compare the two what i'm saying is that um it's the same thing you know these older phones you see these SEs. the size of this is smaller but the screen re real estate they'll say it's the same as uh with the, um, the iphone 6s you know when the iPhone 6 came out, they said it was the same uh, screen real estate and all of that stuff. It's just the design had changed. They made them, you know, they made them thicker. They made them like these. They made them thicker. You, you, you remember what, what they were doing beforehand. They made them thicker and they changed the design of the phone. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, a lot of the time with these uh, manufacturers, that's what they do. They just change the design of the phone. You understand? so right um i'm gonna play a bit of this game i'm gonna explain what i'm doing how i get this all connected i'm basically using the pt-390 which is a speaker and i'm using that um to for the sound so people have said why do you use it for sound okay i'm gonna explain why 
because if you connect your DualSense controller directly with the with the with the with the Samsung, I have a Samsung. I don't know what phone you'll be using, but I'm saying the one that I'm using, the Fold. If I if I connect the DualSense controller directly with the cable, what will happen nine out of ten times is that I will um, I will lose the sound. The sound of this will go. Oh, is this? Oh, what's this? Uh, okay. So chest, wonderful. The sound of this will disappear. And where does the sound go? It goes to the speaker. It goes to the speaker right there. And that's that's what causes the issue 9 out of 10 times. Let me just grab the, let's see, bullets, boom, 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 boom. You know the other better way of doing this. Let me jump on the bike. Let me take this over here for a second. I still want it. I just want to destroy these things. What I'm saying is, 9 out of 10 times, 9 out of 10 times, ah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> nice one. Right. What? Is the bike on? Someone take it. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Uh, that I think that dude has taken it. What I'm saying is, the the PT-390 uh, is a Bluetooth speaker uh, slash power bank, yada, yada. Right. So the main reasons why I'm saying, uh, the main reasons why I'm saying like, um, why you need a Bluetooth speaker is because if you just play this game without a Bluetooth speaker and um, basically um, you're using your controller, right? Uh, what's this? Is this a flower thing? I need to swap this for a weapon. Right. If you're just using your... So I just... I keep pausing. Right. If you're just using... That's a different weapon. All right. Cool. Right. So if you're just using your DualSense controller connected directly to your Samsung, what is most likely going to happen is the sound is going to go all all to your um, thingy it's gonna go to your um to your dual sense controller you're not gonna have any sound at all that's what's gonna happen and then basically you're gonna be stuck with um with a with a phone like this one without any sound and you'll be thinking there's something wrong uh, with what you've got when there's nothing wrong it's just it's just how uh fortnite operates i mean how uh the samsung operates with um with the dual sense it will always like give priority to oh sorry i'm coming i'm coming sorry about that guys coming Right. The Samsung always gives priority. The Samsung always gives priority to um, to the DualSense controller. And it always thinks that it's actually a speaker when it's not actually a speaker. So that's what happens when you connect it. So you end up losing, you end up losing sound because of it. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Why did I put the sound on? I'm going to put it up. I'm just talking. And then once I finish talking, obviously, then oh wait, wait, I want that thing. Let me let me get that thing. Let me get the chest first. What I'm saying is, if if you don't do the things that I'm talking about, and use a Bluetooth speaker, what's a uh, nine out of ten? What's gonna happen? You know, I can just throw this weapon away. I mean, it's the it's a basic one, isn't it? You always get it. Nine out of ten. What's gonna happen? Let me grab this car. Nine out of ten things that's going to happen is basically you're going to be trying um, to connect or trying to get your sound and not realize where the sound's going. The sound is basically in or being used on the DualSense controller. There won't be any physical sound. Like basically what I'm saying is you won't have any of that sound. But um, you'll be wondering well, how come what's wrong with the sound. Nothing wrong with your... Um, with your actual, need to go to the top. There's nothing wrong with your um, with your phone uh, or with the DualSense controller. It's just that it thinks that the DualSense controller is actually a speaker. 
And this happens a lot. So that's why I keep telling people that the only way you're going to get your sound back is if you're using a Bluetooth speaker. Because at least that way, uh, as long as the speaker connects to your phone, it will recognize that as a sound. Because if you do not do that, it will... If you do not, if you do, not do that, what will happen is that it will just think... Oh, I think someone's trying to kill me. Oh, my God. Listen, if you do not use a Bluetooth speaker, it will just assume... It will make the assumption that um, the DualSense controller is the speaker. And that's what will happen in, um, in the game that you're using. So that's why I'm saying the best way to do this and the only way that I, I support... You know what? My, my, my controller is vibrating. It is. It's weird. Still vibrating. So what I'm saying is... Oh, damn. I hope they didn't see me. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you want to get sound back onto your phone, then you basically need to use a Bluetooth speaker. It's the only way it's going to happen. If you need to get sound back onto your phone, you need to use a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, to, to get the DualSense to work on Bluetooth is pretty difficult. You know, the vibration on this is still vibrating. I don't understand. I mean, I've already landed. Nothing is happening. Is it that tornado? Is there a tornado going on around here? What's happening here? There's that thing on the top. Is that what's causing the problem? I, I'm just saying it's um I'm 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 there's vibration on the DualSense controller. Right. Let me put the sound out uh, up a bit, guys. I'll try and use the stylus. I think that might stop the game actually. I don't know what will happen. Let's see. That guy's flying in. If I come from the bottom, I go like so. Okay, so I'm gonna put sound a bit, then close that and go back into the game. You see, I mean it's easier than holding the phone because holding the phone, you know what? Can I turn off the vibration? It's it's not it's not good, man. It's it's got lots of vibration on this. I just want to turn the vibration off. Uh, I don't know where to go to. Where do you go for vibration? Right, is it in here? Toggle targeting, blah, 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 blah. I, I need vibration. Where's the vibration stuff? Let me try. And you know what's going to happen? I'm going to get shot while I'm in here. Trying to fix this thing. Um, let's see. Control, auto run, on, build. No, none of this stuff. I think it might be at the bottom. I'm trying to get... Accelerate through thumbstick. Where did you get the vibration in this thing? No, I mean, it's, it's, it's causing a problem. You see, the vibration is not going away. It's just there. So I can't play the game properly, you know. Oh, God. Okay. Let me just find a place where I can hide. Right. I think I can hide here. Right. I'm going to hide over here for a second. What I'm saying is causing a problem with the vibration. It's, it's too, it's quite strong. You understand? So I need to try and fix this. I mean, anyone who's playing this game will probably understand what I'm talking about. Um, I think it might be in here because the last time I looked in the other one, it wasn't showing me anything. I'm just looking to see where the vibration is. I just need to turn it off. Uh, I'm not seeing any turbo delete, auto config, a turbo building. That's got nothing to do with vibrating. Uh, it's the gamepad keeps vibrating, you see? So basically, it's like, okay, I think I've been, someone got me. I can't do anything right now. Oh, man. You see? I just need to turn this off, the vibration. Then I can get back into the game. There's nothing else in the game that's, that's not working, but only for the factors, like I'm saying. Right, let me try and hide here. Hopefully, no one will see me. And, um, you know, just turn this thing off. Right. If you guys don't understand what I'm saying, my the DualSense controller is vibrating a lot. So I don't know why, why, what's causing that, why, why it just thinks that everything has to vibrate. As 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 I'm there, you know, I'm not even shooting. I'm not, uh, in, I'm not interacting with anybody, and it still thinks uh, it's okay to vibrate. That's that's the problem I'm having with my controller. I should have I should have just come out of this, find out how to turn it off, and then made a video. But I think it's quite kind of interesting 
to have these options and to try and fix this right i don't know how to fix it guys so what i'm gonna do is i'll need to exit i'm gonna exit the game uh i'm gonna exit the game i'm exiting the game because i need to turn off the vibration right so i had to i had to exit then my controller is just vibrating like mad so what i'm gonna do what i mostly do when i'm in these situations is i go over to youtube and then i find because i want a quick solution i don't want to go on google and start searching for the problem right so i'm going to make another video and i'll be explaining to you guys how to turn off the vibration of your DualSense controller